Hello! So, if you've been following this channel since December of 2018, um, you will know that back in December of 2018, I bought a $2 knockoff Apple Watch on Wish.com. And I actually gave it a pretty good review, I think. Um, you know, it, I gave it a fair judgment, and you know, it was actually $2 really, really good. However, since then, due to some unforeseen circumstances, The watch has stopped functioning. It doesn't work anymore, and moreover, it won't charge. So, you know me, when a piece of technology breaks, whether it be a Nintendo Wii or, well, an Apple Watch knockoff, I like to break it even further by, well, destroying it. Let's have some fun with this thing, shall we? And now I'm off to go find a sledgehammer, because this will be fun. I think there should be one in the garden shed back here. Um, or a pickaxe would do, so just, you know, shatter it. Also, yes, this is actually a few days after I filmed the intro because school. Anyway, um, not gonna use a chainsaw. Oop. Don't know what that was. Uh, okay, um, tennis club. Golf ball. Ah, sledgehammer. Uh, that's a tennis club. Oops, wrong. Tennis racket and golf club. There you go. Sledgehammer. This should be fun. I'll probably be doing some slow mo shots with the um, iPhone on zoom. It's like re relatively close to the watch, so we'll ho hopefully get like a really close, um, close up uh, slow mo destruction shot. This should be fun. Alright, so here it is. Very basic setup. Hit the watch with the sledgehammer. I'll be recording in slow-mo from my phone mounted to this phone tripod. The tripod was purchased for, I think, $5 at a thrift store. Great purchase. Love this thing. It's really actually, it's actually, it's actually pretty solid too. And this kind of crappy, but actually not that bad tripod setup, the actual tripod mount itself was bought from Wish.com. Kind of ironically for $1, because this is a Wish.com Apple Watch for $2. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get to destruction, shall we? I do not think this thing's going to survive more than one hit. So, okay, after just one hit, this is what happened to it. Honestly, that held up better than I thought. Trust me, it's not a hold up at all, but honestly, I expected, like, fragments of it going everywhere. So this is the top part of it, the screen, and I guess the bezel up here, too, and, of course, the strap actually stayed on the watch, surprisingly. Um, and, of course, here, here's this part. This is just the bottom, the cover tray at the bottom. And, of course, the part I was actually kind of not only worried about was just kind of conscious of the battery, which did not... Unlike, unlike when we destroyed the DS, uh, did not ignite when it hit with, when it hit with a sledgehammer too many times. Anyway, um, yeah. So this thing survived a bit too much for my liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit it again with another hit from the sledgehammer. Okay, I lied. Hit it with a sledgehammer multiple times. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's take a look, see, let's see what happens. So, okay, first off, this has been ground to like a very fine powder of glass. In fact, I should probably be wearing gloves for this because, you know, sharp glass or whatever, but oh well. On the underside, it's just a mess, but I really think I can do more. I can, I can destroy this even more. Also, one quick thing I do want to point out here is that one of the straps did actually break off the um, $2 Apple Watch. And honestly, I'm surprised it lasted this long. This is a $2 Apple Watch from Wish.com. It has basically no build quality on it. Like, honestly, it is not well made. 
but this thing held up for a few hits with a sledgehammer. That's pretty impressive. Anyway, now let's um, turn over and try again. <laughs> Okay, this really sucks. Um, and there's no, there's no way to refilm this. Um, so while I was busy destroying the Apple Watch, the, the knockoff Apple Watch on the back of it, um, the camera cut out and didn't film it and it crashed. So I don't think I actually have any of the film, oh, sorry, any of the footage from it. So that's gonna be a big blank screen. Well, technical difficulties, I guess. Yay, that sucks. Oh well. I can, however, show the aftermath, and I will do that. So, yeah, although the iPhone, for some reason, decided to crash, and the camera app closed, thus losing the entire bit of footage I was recording for the destruction of the back of the Apple Watch, um, I can, of course, show the aftermath, although I won't have the actual clip, sadly. But anyway, so here's what happened to it. Um, yeah, there's glass everywhere. Anyway, um, so this just got... The circuitry, the circuit board here just got absolutely ripped apart. It is... This is, this is definitely, I actually have a trophy drawer of stuff I've destroyed with like people like Eric or Ben or Theo. Whenever I destroy something, I've got, I have like a trophy drawer. I, have, I still actually have the huge magnetic speaker set from the um, boom box Eric kind of destroyed uh, at the end of 2017. That was a lot of fun. But um, anyway, yeah, this, this is, I think that's the only thing I salvaged from this thing for a trophy. That's actually even cool. But um, it has been just like totally, totally destroyed uh, beyond recognition. And of course the straps... Well, this thing is just holding a bunch of glass together now, and this one is a goner. So all in all, a pretty fun destruction, although I didn't get the footage I wanted out of it because my iPhone crashed, but honestly, could have been much worse. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you in the next video. Oh, also, I should mention that the Wish.com video series that I put on hold for quite a while is now kind of officially back on. I ordered something in the mail, and should be arriving within the next month or so because Wish takes fucking forever to deliver shit. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but it does have something to do with iPhones. And iPhones, well, most, like, I'll get iPhones and I believe Google Pixels, but it's meant for iPhone. Uh, anyway, I'll explain that when that gets here. Anyway, the Wish.com series is back on, and uh, maybe we'll even be ordering a new Apple Watch in the future. Who knows? Anyway, this is a lot of fun. See you all in the next video.